Hey guys, Chris from B Automation, electromechanical engineer for 20 years, now specializing in controls and automation. And in this video, I'm gonna run through how to wire the 230 volt AC power in this control panel. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, like, subscribe, be much appreciated. Let's get into it. Okay guys, now onto the bulk of the wiring. So before we get into that, I just wanna show you the tools that I use. So as you can see here, just standard cheapo Amazon feral crimpers. I recommend these Nipex strippers. They're really, really good. Only using one and a half mil cable for 99% of cables in this panel. So one and a half single ferrules, also using some double ferrules. And then over here, this is a strip axe tool by Viedmuller. It's an expensive tool, but if you're doing a lot of panel building, I would recommend using this. It really does come in handy when you're in awkward positions and you've only really got one hand free, because what you can do with this is you can cut, you can strip, and you have one of these cartridges inside so you can crimp at the same time so really really handy tool that is which i would recommend if you do a fair amount of panel building so into the time lapse so yeah first thing is wiring this socket so just yeah running the, the cable lengths cutting those off and then yeah terminate in one end first and then back to the mcb neutral bar and earth bar Next bit is wiring the transformer. And as you can see, I made a little mistake, so I've just rewired the MCB going to the socket. You'll also see me in a bit rewiring the transformer. I've got the wrong side. I think I might need my eyes tested. So yeah, the um, primary side is over here and the secondary side is, is up here. So now just wiring again MCBs to the 10 volt power supply, or single MCB to the power supply. This is also the point that I realized that I need to shift the MCBs along and add an additional breaker for the 24 volt AC coming out of the transformer. So I've just done that. Next bit, wiring MCBs to the contactor overloads so main supplies the contactor and overloads now going to the plc so supply to the plc again modifying the mcbs i had the supply going into the first mcb but that's being used for the 24 volt ac so yeah just uh, rewiring that transformer as mentioned and now doing the 24 volt ac into the MCB and then out to this distribution block over here. And then I'm just doing the supply from the 10 volt power supply, similarly to the 24 volts, just into the distribution blocks here. So yeah guys, just showing you some uh, still images afterwards. So these are the feeds going from the MCBs. This is pretty much where we got to uh, at the end of that time lapse. I haven't done the 10 volt distribution blocks here yet. You can see the coiled up cables that will eventually go to the terminal blocks, but we're gonna be doing that bit last, so they're just coiled up there for now. That's a closer look of what the distribution blocks look like. So obviously there'll be some 10 volt supplies going in here, and this these blocks here will grow over time. You never know how many distribution blocks you need. It depends on how the panel builder wires stuff. So yeah, you just need to make sure you allow extra space for expansion on this DIN rail. This will be the 10 volts. This is the zero volts of the transformer. This is the 24 volts of the transformer. And then there'll be some additional blocks up here. These will probably grow a bit themselves but then some additional blocks here for different types of supply circuits i can't remember the numbers of them off the top of my head but circuits that will be going off to the door and there's another couple as well so there's that coil that's going to go to these terminal blocks just to look at what the protective earths look like and the neutrals 